In the last module, we created a very short scribe with the, the little cat and the little dog. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at playing a little bit more with the timeline. So playing with duration, transition, being able to move images uh, on the timeline, uh, copying and pasting, and then just generally zooming with the timeline. So I'm going to open up this scribe again, click on it. And I'm going to now add a third image. So I have a cat, I have a dog. I'm going to select the dog because I want to, actually the cat, because I want to put the cat between, the mouse between the cat and the dog. So I'm going to go up here to the Add Image to Canvas. I'm going to type in mouse. And well, obviously we want a mouse mouse, not a... <laughs> So the ones you see that you have have the little bar here, these are actually ones that you can purchase. But I'm going to show you later on in other modules how you can create your own images and little sort of cheats that you can use to um, modify uh, images. So I'm going to click on the mouse here. And I'm going to place him down here, but I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. And you'll notice because I selected the cat, the image was placed between the cat and the dog. So let's say I want to move that to the, after the dog to, to appear after the dog has been animated. I'm just going to select it and move it. Now I'm just still going to lock it in place here using the, the set the canvas, uh, the camera. So now what will happen is if I play this from the beginning, cat is drawn, moves over, draws the dog, and then the mouse. And it zooms in a little bit for the mouse because of the way that I set up my camera. Now the mouse is drawing quite slowly, so I'm actually going to change that to about two seconds as well. I'm also going to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to talk about resolution in a later uh, tutorial. But for now I want to relock, click on the mouse, and relock that canvas. I'm also going to tighten up the transitional time. So I had the, tr the cat transition to the dog quite slowly. I'm going to make that uh, five seconds for transition and five seconds for pause. So a, a second between the ending of the drawing and the next object drawing. The dog, the same thing. I'm going to select the properties for it. And I'm going to say that I want it to have half a second for each. And then the mouse will just draw as the third. So now if I click on the preview, there's my cat. Quickly, there's my dog and then zoom, there's my mouse. So maybe I want the zoom to happen a little slower, that's quite quick. So I'm going to go back to the dog, I'm going to select it, I'm going to change the transition to a second and a half. So that's just basically the time from one frame to the other or one object to the other. So I'll just start with the dog here, and then slow, it zooms in slower. So now if I try that one more time and maybe make the transition this time three seconds, you'll see it's much slower. So if you're looking for the sort of dramatic effect, zoom, 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 zoom in and out, then by all means have a short transition time. It also depends on the distance. So if I zoom back out to the cat level and quickly to do that, I just all I have to do is double click on, or select this, and then just double click on the cat image. Well, that's the wrong thing to do. Double click here, I should say. There we are. So now the cat is set up in the frame, the original frame. But if I wanted to move way over here and put some text, and I'll try text this time, I'm going to click on the text, add text to canvas, and I'll just type in, this is a bunch of animals. Oh, I can never type. Your fonts, uh, there's one default called basic, which is supplied by VideoScribe, but if you have any system fonts, so things that are on your computer when you're using Word or Excel or whatever, you can bring them in by just simply clicking on the import font button here and then just search for it on your computer. So I'm going to leave it on the basic font for now because I find it's easy to use and you can also change the color. And then it's essentially what it is is an image so you can make it bigger or smaller. If you need to edit again you have to go back in and change the properties. So what I am going to do here is change the uh, the draw to maybe one and a half seconds. I also want to lock the frame or the camera position so it'll go from the mouse here to drawing this. So let's see how it looks from the, the dog. So there's the dog. Nice slow transition to the mouse. The mouse will draw and then really quickly it starts to draw 
So that was my sound effect. It draws the text. So again, if you want to transition more slowly, let's maybe you had something in between that, maybe between the dog, the cat, and the and the mouse. You would just simply just change that transition to be slower. And just so I can show you what I mean by that, I'll just put in, uh, maybe I'll put the cat between, oh, I didn't mean to rotate it, undo, between the mouse and the, uh, the text. So I'm going to reset that frame for the mouse, for the cat. And I'll start from the beginning. So there's the cat. Zoom up, there's the dog. Zoom in, there's the mouse coming. And then it'll transition across. You'll see that cat again for a second, and then it's going to draw the text. So if I zoom out a little bit, and I can just use the, the scroll button on my uh, mouse, you can see that I've got things in different locations. So I can actually sort of zoom out and pick, put everything I need on the canvas, and then figure out the order I want them on the timeline, and then just start setting my properties. So again, I can move things around, and that's the order that they play in, but whatever you set up for their camera setting will be preserved. So if I put the mouse before the cat, and I play it again, so you get mouse, and then you zoom out to look at cat, and then you go up and look at the text, and then finally the dog. So I'd recommend doing that in some cases because it gets, allows you to sort of set up everything you want, especially if you're going to move from object to object, back and forth, zooming in and zooming out. If you're doing things more linear, linearly, there's my word, so I zoom into the dog here, and I wanted to just move over to the right, I again can use this canvas button here to move to the left so that I'm actually panning to the right, or opposite obviously or up and down. And the benefit of doing that is you get very linear uh, directions. You don't have people sort of, like if I put this one here, and let's say I created another, I put in the cat again, and moved it over here, and I wanted it to, and I basically just moved up here and reset my camera. From here to here, kind of slides down, which is maybe what you want, uh, but often when, you, when you're drawing a story and you have a sort of a sequence, you'd want to go straight across, straight up, straight down, or whatever. So all I've done here is add a couple things to the timeline. I've zoomed in in the case of the mouse, zoomed back out at the 100% for the cat and the dog, and I created a second version of the cat by simply going back up and selecting the image from here. But I can also actually just click on the image that I want and I've got a copy or a cut button here. So if I want to copy it, I can then select the cat. So let's say I want to place, paste the dog after the cat and go here. And then whatever I've set up in terms of my camera uh, and my, my settings, uh, the draw time and the, the transitions is going to be exactly the same. So I would move it. As you notice, if I move it over, the whole canvas moves. I would reset the camera and then between the cat and the second dog, it will zoom over pretty quickly. So you have to be aware of what the transitions are, and if you have text, how that looks, and it's just playing around and getting used to it. But you can do quite a lot with simply going in and modifying the settings. And that's that tutorial. So the next tutorial we're going to look at is starting to add audio and um, music, so narration and music to our, to our scribe.